what's going on? Welcome back to Hack Me Hard. This is the Chilean Retro Gamer, and the game I'm going to be playing now, or the hack I'm going to be playing now, is the Unworld Recharged, a Super Mario World hack, also available on GameAnyone.com. So, never play this game, I just wanted to try it out because it had, from the little description I read, quite a few levels, around 60 levels. Level, sorry, or so, or 60 exits, which is not the same. Uh, this was done by Dotted Boy, it seems. 2009, 2011, 11. Good one. <laughs> yeah, I guess making a hack takes some long time, some, you know, in most of the cases. Hey, can you help me? Bowser trapped me in this glass box so that I couldn't stop him from kidnapping the princess. Get me out of here. Are you requesting me to get you out? Look at that! <laughs> the fucking... Windows... Desktop. <laughs> just fucking noticed! Okay, that was... At least funny. Three stop one. Koopa clearing. Let me see this one first. Could be a training level. Oh, hey, look! It's a... Marvel song from Sonic 1's background. So, these are the worlds. Interesting. Castaway Peninsula, 2, Plainsville, 3, Rock Warehouse, 4, Lefty Mountain, then Generic Forest. <laughs> That's a great name, actually. Uh, Rooch's Beach, Showdown City. At least the names are... funny, I don't know. Alright, Koopa Clearing. Sweet music. Okay then, use that controller to direct me where to go. Move with a D-pad, use B to jump and hold Y while... Okay, this is the most basic instruction. Alright, I like this already. It's uh, even funny at parts. I'm sure you're gonna be encountering something even more hilarious at some points. Background doesn't really look familiar to me, but I like it. Music is fine. Very simple to be a first level with the basics. It's basically with tutorials for first timers. I'm not particularly a first timer playing Mario. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I expect in a first level. Very basic type of enemies, obstacles, some basic tutorials. I mean, I would prefer. People who... I mean, not people, but hacks that do not really start from the very beginning or with the most basic things because the ones who play Mario hacks, of course, somehow are experienced Mario... Super Mario players in general. Coin Whore, of course, has to get everything. So yeah, I mean, they shouldn't assume people are playing Mario for the first time. The ones who are playing hacks, I insist, are the ones who have been in Mario World quite a few times. That's, that's just an assumption anyway, I could be wrong. It's an extra life. Okay, well, I guess it's gonna become challenging as I'm making progress. Goomba Camp. Donkey Kong Country music. What's with this thing? Alright, that's weird. It's not taking me anywhere. I can pick some items up and carry them, such as Koopa Shell or an overturned Goomba. I know that. I mean, even if I prefer hacks with, without tutorials or without very basic levels, I like this. I like the look of this and I have a good feeling about this. This is my pal Yoshi, he can do many useful things. For instance, press Y to tell him to eat his enemies. Try it. I would have liked this type of tutorials in the original Mario world. I don't know. I, I think that the language is simpler and more directed to the player itself. Okay, whatever, Yoshi, I don't care. It's a, at least addressing the player. I mean, having Mario asking the player, so to speak, to help him out, to get out of a certain place, it's neat, at least. Okay, what is this? Power-up? 
Oh, just coins. I'm a coin whore and all that, but I don't want to waste time hitting a block like that. I already got all of the Yoshi coins. Not really big changes in terms of the level design. I mean, the floor and some of these background bushes and whatever could be like customized. They're not that great. Or at least they go for a change. The background is exactly the same. So, uh, yeah, I, I shouldn't expect so many changes. So far, I haven't seen any secret exit. Jump training. Do I really need this? <laughs> uh, and I see a couple of towers. That's kind of interesting. I'm kind of curious about the, the map design. To bounce off an enemy head, off an enemy head, I guess, uh, simply hold the jump button. Yeah, I've done that. Never read that in a tutorial anyway. It's something that you figure out by yourself. This. It's something that actually doesn't appear in tutorials in the original game, I believe. And more Sonic music, by the way. Sonic 1, I think? No, Sonic 3. So sorry! Sonic 2, Aquatic Ruin. Memory's failing me. Alright, I'm not really applying this uh, tutorial thing, but basically because I'm trying to get all the coins. I should forget about that. But yeah, this is basically for practicing this whole idea about jumping on an enemy in, and holding the jump button in order to jump higher. Simple as that. Well, these platforms are from further levels in the original Mario world. It's a good thing they have them right here already. It's not being that basic. At least this level is not that simple. I mean, it's this in general terms. So yeah, I think I shouldn't expect, from my expectations at least, I shouldn't be waiting for this difficulty boost I usually refer to. The Shell Brigade? Brigade, Brigade, sorry. I was thinking of a French word. Super Mario Bros. Remake, or remi uh, Remix, actually. I heard this one before in some other hack, and in some other game. Must be from some of the more recent Mario games. Alright, the environment is very Mario 2-ish. The floor, those uh, veggies that do not move, you cannot grab anything out of them. You cannot turn these things into coins like, remember some hacks, in which not only you, you could grab stuff, but also, or instead, you can turn those pages into coins, you know, to get a little benefit out of them. This is a remake that I've heard before in some other game, cannot really remember which one. Could have been just a hack, not entirely sure. I think I made a mistake killing that guy, doesn't matter. Well, I think I need this now. Wow, it didn't stop moving, did you see that? I need this. Oh, just Yoshi? Okay. I mean, not just Yoshi. I expected a power-up instead. That's a power-up. Okay, second time I get the Yoshi, and second time I lose him so quickly. I mean, I could just rewind, but... Whatever, I mean, it's, I'm not really dying for having the Yoshi. This is like the very first sort of athletic level. It's a lot of platforming, a lot of floor. Not so many pits, usually athletic levels have a lot of pits. I'm very little floor, so to speak. Okay, level design is a little bit ugly, to be honest. The map display in this case is weird. I mean, look at this. I want to go this way, and then another turn. It is a little bit strange, but I shouldn't make so many complaints out of this. Castle 1, the border. Yoshi's Island music. The design is... 
Kind of familiar. Elements from other Mario games for sure. A lot of echo, well, it could make sense since this is a castle. That kind of echo is normal in castles, I mean in caves, not really common in castles. But it's fine. But I insist, the, the colors are weird. Yeah, I think the background is for Yoshi's Island, actually. Also fucking close. Okay, it's very similar to the very first castle in the original game. Another road scrolling section, very similar to the original game. Not too much work in that sense, but as a whole I still see a complete renovated level. New background, new music. At least not customized, it is taken from another Mario game, which is something I usually enjoy. I'm not gonna say demand. Who the fuck am I for demanding shit, right? I don't even make hacks, I just play through them. <laughs> well, that was all. A little bit short. Also, green door, seriously. Well, that confirms my idea, and it's not just a coincidence that the level design is ugly, I insist. The display of the enemies and the traps, the blocks, the pits, all that is acceptable. Well done, friend! Okay, he, he's addressing the player again. We make a pretty good team, I guess. Who knows that we will have to face next in this case crazy world. I just hope I can make it out of here in time to stop Bowser. So, I is he trapping a computer or what? From wh what we saw at the beginning, you remember. Okay, let's see the map. Yeah, it's w quite similar. I mean, there is no big change from the original game. In terms of where Mario is supposed to be going to, okay, now I see a little bit of a change. Castle 3 and 4 very n close to each other, Castle 6, and a couple of worlds underground for sure. I see a pipe up there, another pipe up there, it could be an extension. Okay, this could be very interesting. This is the first red level. Okay, I'm going to stop this here, next time I'm going to start World 2, the Mountain Trail. Well, that's the name of the level at least. I'll see you later, thanks for watching.